680 News Time 835. The town of Goderich has declared a state of emergency after what's believed to have been a tornado tore through the area earlier this afternoon. A representative from Goderich Hydro tells us the roof has blown off their building and they're tra- scrambling to try to get the power back on in the town on Lake Huron. Al Milburn works at a KFC in the middle of town and tells 680 News they took cover during the storm and when it was over, came out to see the shocking damage. The roof on the church across the street was gone. Most of the trees, the mature trees in this area are kindling. A lot of windows out. Uh, apparently our uptown, our, the square, is uh, in a pretty sorry state and there are houses destroyed. The tornado warning has been called off for Goderich and Stratford. We do have pictures of the damage on our website, 680news.com. Meanwhile, here in Toronto, a severe thunderstorm watch has been lifted. A fast-moving storm moved through the region at around 3 o'clock this afternoon. And Jennifer Link with Toronto Hydro tells 680 News the strong winds knocked down power lines. I don't have a time of restoration for you because it's individual pockets. They're all really isolated. So it's not one large outage. It's... uh, um, storm-related, like, tree making contact with our equipment has impacted, say, 100 customers in one area. About 6,000 customers remain without electricity, but Toronto Hydro says crews are working hard to restore power amid reports of falling trees and flooding around the city. A high water advisory has also been issued for Toronto and will remain in effect until Tuesday. 680 News Time, 1033. Local police are telling 680 News at least one man is dead after a tornado touched down in the town of Goderich this afternoon. Environment Canada confirming this evening that it was in fact a tornado that tore through the town located on Lake Huron, prompting officials to declare a state of emergency. 680's Mike McCullough reports on the widespread damage. Power is out in Goderich after a tornado went straight up West Street through the courthouse park. Many of the people who are affected by it are inside the Knights of Columbus Hall. Outside of it, one person says it looks like a bomb went off at the courthouse square. The prettiest town in Canada, now parts of it demolished. One man here, Larry Phillips, was right downtown when it happened. The truck was lifting up and uh, broke the side window and broke off my mirrors. A couple of bricks hit the truck from the, across the square where the building fell down. And it was windy and big inch uh, chunks of ice, hail, I guess it was. The police are about to hold a media scrum to fill us in on the rest of the details. Apparently they are currently turning away volunteers, but there will be a call for them very soon. Reporting from Godrich at the Knights of Columbus Hall, Mike McCullough, 680 News. 680 News Time, 1103. Happening now on the shores of Lake Huron, a state of emergency declared in the town of Goderich after a deadly tornado tears through the town earlier today. 680's Carl Hansky is there. The square here in the heart of Godrich has been completely ravaged after a direct hit from this tornado. Numerous buildings had their roofs ripped right off. Windows are smashed everywhere. Cars tossed around like toys. A number of houses have been destroyed as well. One couple tells me they saw the twister coming and ran for their basement. And as they were running down the stairs, heard and felt the wind rip the roof right off their home. Another couple tells me the wind was so powerful, it picked up pieces of wood from a local lumber yard and shot them through the air like bullets. They now have the two-by-fours sticking out of their kitchen walls. In Godrich, Carl Hansky, 680 News. And officials in Goderich confirming one person has been killed, 37 others injured when the tornado touched down. Environment Canada's Randy Mawson says it could have been a lot worse. To have a tornado come through the main core of a beautiful town like Goderich on 4 o'clock uh, on a Sunday afternoon in the middle of the tourist season and not have more deaths and injuries than this is quite amazing, to be quite honest. It is a devastating scene. I've never seen anything quite like it before. Environment Canada says the tornado was an F2 or low F3 with winds of over 250 kilometers an hour. Officials say there are about 150 businesses in the downtown area. It appears very few escaped without being damaged or destroyed. 680 News Time, 1133. 
happening now on the shores of Lake Huron. A state of emergency has been declared after a deadly tornado ripped through the town of Goderich this afternoon. 680's Carl Hanske is in Goderich this evening. Witnesses tell me they saw the twister approach and heard what sounded like a freight train as it slammed into the downtown square here, blowing out windows and ripping off roofs. I saw one church here, which has had both its roof and its steeple torn right off. Cars and trucks are overturned. Police tell me some of the injured were actually in their vehicles when their cars were picked up by powerful winds and toppled over. A one man staying in a hotel room told me he had a tree branch fly right through the window, so he ran and hit under the sink. In Godrich, Carl Hansky, 680 News. Following the touchdown of the deadly tornado, the mayor of Godrich, Delbert Schufelt, confirms the worst. It's with a heavy heart that I have to be report one fatality and several in injuries have been confirmed. Emergency service personnel are on the ground and continue to search buildings and grounds in effort to ensure everyone is accounted for. Local police tell 680 News the person killed is a 61-year-old employee of a salt mine who died when a large crane was toppled over in high winds. Environment Canada is classifying the killer tornado as an F2 or low F3, which means it packed winds of 250 to 320 kilometers an hour. 680 News Time, 12.03. Happening now in Goderich, the most powerful tornado to hit Ontario in years swept through that southwestern Ontario town yesterday afternoon, killing one person, causing severe damage in what's generally a very picturesque community on the shores of Lake Huron. Big City's Carl Hansky has the latest on the storm damage. It is damage on a massive scale here in downtown Godrich, where heavy machinery is needed to clear streets strewn with tree trunks and pieces of buildings. The historic square here, right in the heart of Godrich, is the worst area yet. Buildings everywhere have either been completely destroyed or heavily damaged. Many have had their roofs ripped off and windows blown out. The big and beautiful trees that once stood proudly here now lay scattered about like matchsticks, plucked out of the ground by powerful winds and then tossed through the air. We'll get a better look at all the devastation when the sun rises. In Godrich, Carl Hansky, City News. Also in Goderich, Environment Canada's Randy Mawson says the storm really could have been a lot worse. To have a tornado come through the main core of a beautiful town like Goderich on 4 o'clock uh, on a Sunday afternoon in the middle of the tourist season and not have more deaths and injuries than this is quite amazing, to be quite honest. Uh, it is a devastating scene. I've never seen anything quite like it before. There was one death, however. Police have identified the fatality as 61-year-old Norman LaBerge of Lucknow. He was working at a salt mine when the storm hit. Um, OPP Inspector Bill Klim says at least 37 people have been treated for minor injuries. No one has been reported missing. 680 News Time, 602. 680 News. This is in-depth team coverage. The most powerful twister to hit Ontario in 15 years has Godrich under a state of emergency. The tornado ripped through the southwestern Ontario town, killing 61-year-old man and injuring more than 30 people. Six Cities' Carl Hansky joins us from the downtown area, which has been declared a no-go zone because there is so much destruction. Carl. Yeah, so Jenna, it's incredible damage here in downtown Godrich, where heavy machinery is actually being used to clear streets strewn with tree trunks and pieces of buildings. Barb's house is one of several that had its roof ripped off when the tornado touched down. Not sure what it was, but there was something. And then boom, it hit your house. Yeah, yeah. And when you were heading down this, what did it sound like when it took your roof off? I didn't hear any sound. I think you're going to shock, and I didn't hear anything. Nothing. You just saw things flying around yeah. you, and you were running. Yeah, that's right, we were. Now, the historic square here in the heart of Godrich is the worst hit area. Buildings have either had roofs blown off or are really badly damaged. And to top it off, it was all heritage, and we have to literally tear out every building, and we've got it to screwed. We have nothing. Hundreds of beautiful big trees are now scattered around like matchsticks, plucked out of the ground by powerful winds and tossed through the air, crushing cars and smashing through walls and windows. Reporting live in Godrich, Carl Hansky, 680 News. 680 News Time, 604. Town officials held a news conference last night. Environment Canada's Randy Mawson says it could have been a lot worse. To have a tornado come through the main core of a beautiful town like Godrich on 4 o'clock uh, 
on a Sunday afternoon in the middle of the tourist season and not have more deaths and injuries than this is quite amazing, to be quite honest. Uh, it is a devastating scene. I've never seen anything quite like it before. Local police tell 680 News the one person killed was a 61-year-old man. OPP say at least 37 people have been treated for minor injuries. No one has been reported missing. Here in the city, the storm appears to have done the most damage in North Toronto and Leaside, where downed branches are making for a massive cleanup this morning. Our team coverage of the extreme weather continues with 680's Charlene Close live in the Young and Lawrence area. Charlene. Well, Jana, there are large tree limbs scattered on many of these uh, side streets here, like St. Germain, Farallon, Jedburgh. Cleanup crews have been here. They were out here last night and uh, plan to return this morning. They've been moving the debris out of the way. Now, Liz, out walking her dog this morning, tells me the damage was quite extensive. It was it was pretty bad. We walked around a bit um, last night. They'd already started to clean up, but um, a lot of the roads were closed for crews coming in to clean up. And there was were some limbs down on homes. Just um, the home, I think, just up here had a limb down on top of it last night. Now, during the height of this storm, there was hail and Brampton flooding in the 401 in Yorkdale area. And 680 meteorologist Jill Taylor says winds peaked at 100 kilometers per hour. Reporting live in the Young and Lawrence area, Charlene Close, 680 News. 680 News Times, 633. 680 News. This is in-depth team coverage. The most powerful storm to hit Ontario since 1996 has left Godridge in a state of emergency this morning. A tornado swept through the town's downtown core, killing one person and injuring at least 37 people. We begin our in-depth team coverage with 680's Carl Hansky in the heart of Godrich, where police are telling residents to stay away. Carl. Yeah, well, the once picturesque square here in the heart of Godrich looks more like a war zone this morning. Everywhere you look, there's our century-old buildings with roofs torn off, trees uprooted and tossed around, windows smashed, some cars overturned. One church I saw has lost its roof and its steeple. Now, Stan's house was one of several destroyed by the tornado. He wrapped his arms around the toilet in the basement washroom while the winds blew his house apart. Just the windows blew out and glass all over the place and two by fours were coming through the windows, sticking in the walls. Now this man was in his hotel room when he says a large tree branch came crashing through the window. So I ran to the bathroom and hid in the bathroom. Yeah. When you came out, what did you see? It was just devastation. I mean, you know, all the buildings were gone and there was no trees, nothing. It was just incredible. Now, police tell me some of the injured were in cars that were actually lifted off the ground and blown over. Reporting live in Godrich, Carl Hansky, 680 News. Police have identified the one person killed by the tornado as a 61-year-old man from Lucknow. He was wearing... A he was working on a crane, which was overturned when the storm hit. OBB say at least 37 people have been treated for minor injuries. No one has been reported missing. Randy Mawson of Environment Canada says the town was battered by winds of up to 300 kilometers per hour. That's considered an F2 or F3 level tornado. I've been with Environment Canada for 36 years and doing storm investigations like this uh, for a long time. This is the worst damage I've ever seen. Goderidge officials have placed the town under a state of emergency and cut off natural gas to the damaged areas. 680 News Time 635, the same severe weather system that devastated Goderidge left thousands of people without power here in the city. We continue our in-depth team coverage with 680 Charlene Close in the Young Lawrence area, one of the pockets where the storm appears to have done the most damage. Charlene. Well, uh, some severe damage here. I'm standing outside a, a two-and-a-half-story home here at 113 Fairlawn. The front tree has split in two, and uh, it's fallen on the front of the house, stretching from the porch all the way up to the roof. There's a lot of damage here. Now, this woman out for her morning run tells me things were pretty intense here yesterday. And it became very, very dark, and all of a sudden it... It did, yeah, it did rain a lot, but then it became very dark, and you could see the trees just very, very strong wind. And as, after it finished, we went out, and there's a lot of trees out in the neighborhood. They're all down. Meteorologist Jill Taylor at the 680 Weather Center says winds peaked at 100 kilometers per hour. Cleanup crews have already been out here. They were out uh, late yesterday and into the evening uh, chopping down some of the uh, stray limbs and moving things out of the way so people could actually uh, move around uh, this morning. And they will return this morning to remove the rest of the debris. Reporting live in the Young and Lawrence area, Charlene Close, 680 News.
680 News Time 702. 680 News. This is in-depth team coverage. Residents of Godrich are waking up to a state of emergency after a powerful tornado tore through the southwestern Ontario town, killing a 61-year-old man and injuring more than 30 people. A separate storm, but from the same volatile air mass, ripped down tree branches and hydro wires here in the GTA. We'll have a closer look at local damage in just a moment, but we begin our in-depth team coverage of the extreme weather with 680's Carl Hansky, who's in Godridge this morning and joins us live with the latest. Carl? Yeah, so Jenna, now the sun is up, is able to get a bit better look. The square in the heart of Godridge took a direct hit from this tornado. Almost every building I saw damaged or destroyed. A number of homes have been destroyed as well, including Barb's. Her entire second story was ripped right off. We just headed for the basement at the end of the house, and we got halfway downstairs, and all the debris was just flying at us. Your roof came off as you were going down the stairs? Yep, it did. Yep. He must have been absolutely frightened. It was terrifying. It was terrifying. This man was driving through downtown when the tornado hit and says he had to steer around cars that turned into tumbleweeds. A lot of the vehicles that were parked out front, the windows were blown out of them, and, uh, and it, it was just a mess. It was just chaos. Officials will start doing a better damage assessment today, but it looks like a lot of the beautiful century-old buildings in the heart of Godrich here are now so heavily damaged they'll have to be torn down. Reporting live in Godrich, Carl Hansky, 680 News. 680 News Time, 704. The mayor of Godrich spoke about the tornado at a news conference last night. It's with a heavy heart that I have to be report one fatality and several in injuries have been confirmed. Emergency service personnel are on the ground and continue to search buildings and grounds in an effort to ensure everyone is accounted for. Local police tell 680 News a 61-year-old man died in the storm when he was thrown off a crane. Environment Canada is classifying the killer tornado as an F2 or low F3, which means it packed winds of 250 to 320 kilometers an hour. At the height of the storm, thousands of people across the city were without power. We continue our in-depth team coverage with 680 Charlene Close in the Young and Lawrence area this morning, where tree limbs are blocking some roads. Charlene. Well, Janet, take your pick of these side streets west of Young and north of Lawrence, and it doesn't take long to spot storm damage. Tree limbs scattered throughout this neighborhood. Vern owns this house here at 113 Fairlawn Avenue. He and his wife were home when the tree on his front yard split and came down on his house. And all of a sudden, the whole house just shook. <laughs> What was that? We walked into the front bedroom and saw this tree up against the house. He tells me they were lucky they didn't lose power or cable and no windows broke, but he expects there will be some heavy damage when he gets a closer look in the attic. Cleanup crews will be back here today to finish up the job that they started late yesterday. Reporting live on Fairlawn near Young and Lawrence, Charlene Close, 680 News. 680 News Time, 733. 680 News. This is in-depth team coverage. Goderich residents are coming together in the wake of a powerful tornado that's left the southwestern Ontario town in a state of emergency. The twister destroyed homes and buildings, killing one person and injuring at least 37 people. 680's Carl Hansky joins us from the downtown area, which has been declared a no-go zone because there's so much destruction there. Carl. That's right, Paul. Incredible damage and destruction here in downtown Godrich, where heavy machinery is being used to clear streets that are strewn with tree trunks and pieces of buildings. Barb's house was one of several that had roof ripped right off when the tornado touched down. Not sure what it was, but there was something. And then boom, it hit your house. Yeah. Yeah. And when you were heading down this, says, what did it sound like when it took your roof off? I didn't hear any sound. I think you're going to shock. And I didn't hear anything. Nothing. You just saw things flying around yeah. you and you were running. Yeah, that's right. We were. On the historic square here in the heart of Godrich, it's the worst hit area. Buildings have either had roofs blown off or are badly damaged. And to top it off, it was all a heritage and we have to literally tear out every building and we've Got it screwed. We have nothing. The hundreds of big, beautiful trees are now scattered around like matchsticks, plucked out of the ground by the powerful winds and tossed through the air, some of them crushing cars and smashing through walls and windows. Reporting live in Godrich, Carl Hansky, City News. Town officials held a news conference last night to update the public on the storm's aftermath. The mayor said a complete search of the town is underway to ensure that everyone is safe. Environment Canada's Randy Mosin 
says while bad, the storm could have been a lot worse. To have a tornado come through the main core of a beautiful town like Goderich on 4 o'clock uh, on a Sunday afternoon in the middle of the tourist season and not have more deaths and injuries than this is quite amazing, to be quite honest. Uh, it is a devastating scene. I've never seen anything quite like it before. Local police tell 680 News one person killed was a 61-year-old man who was working on a crane which collapsed when the storm hit. OPP say at least 37 people have been treated for minor injuries. No one has been reported missing.